Today is March 23rd and it is a Saturday and I have the day off of work which is just fucking insanity mind-blowing like I don't even remember the last time I've had a Saturday off. I just finished filming my March book haul for the month and I've been cleaning the apartment all day because one of my friends is coming over later tonight to have like dinner and a movie night and it's gonna be super fun. Last night I finally finished reading Five Feet Apart and I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a really cute. And last night it was really fun because we had our company dinner at Red Robin after we closed at like 9.45 at night, um, which was really fun and it was so good and it was just a really great time hanging out with everyone last night. also have some maybe exciting news depending on if it happens or not but me and my sister are currently looking for another apartment. Not that this one isn't like a good apartment or anything but we've definitely had like some things that we would like to have in an apartment. Um, me and my sister have been wanting to loop to move closer to the city to where the college is. It's like the college town so it's like we live in a very small town that's like very conservative and very white and just very like not our style really so we want to move a little bit closer to this very like liberal college town you know that's like 30 minutes away yeah we finally just applied for one on thursday night so just a few days ago and it's so nice it's on the fourth floor and it's a super super nice apartment it's in the city that we want to live in it has two bedrooms and two bathrooms. We would each get our own bathroom and the rent is a little bit more per month, but I think it's gonna be so worth it for us. So we're waiting on news right now to hear back from whether or not we're gonna get approved for that apartment or not. It's just crazy like timing right now because like the lease on our apartment for this apartment that we have right now ends on June 30th. And then this apartment that we just applied for, they it becomes available on May 8th. So we would either have to pay double rent for two months, which would really suck, or we would have to do a lease takeover. And one of my coworkers actually expressed interest in taking over our lease. So we'll see if that can actually work out because that would actually be perfect. It's like, I really do love this apartment that we have right now, but there are definitely a huge list of negative things about it that I would just really prefer to move. The number one, negative about this apartment is the location again we're in a really small town and we're kind of like out in the boonies in this location so the service isn't great here and it's just like not really where we want to be like we always have to drive like 30 minutes to go into town to like hang out and with our friends and like do stuff and like go shopping and go to the movies so we just want to be closer to the action and then the second thing i don't like about this apartment is how we're on the first floor so we really don't have a lot of privacy like our windows if our windows are open we're literally like staring into the windows of our neighbor's apartment like right across the street and like my my room that's like right in the front of the apartment looks right into the parking lot and so if anybody's like coming home and i have my windows open they can just like see me in bed and it just makes me really uncomfortable so i just really don't like being on the first floor like there's literally no privacy if we have our windows open which just sucks another thing that i don't really like about this apartment is that it doesn't allow pets which this new apartment would allow pets. And then another thing I don't like about this apartment is that the natural lighting sucks. I know you can't really tell because I'm standing right next to like a huge, huge window right here, but this is the only place in my apartment where I get good natural lighting. The natural lighting in my room sucks for the most part unless I can get it on a really nice, perfectly sunny day where it's still kind of cloudy, so it's not direct sunlight. I don't know, it's hard to explain, but like the natural lighting sucks and the, the natural lighting in this new place is so beautiful and so amazing so and of course another negative is that there's only one bathroom so me and my sister are always kind of like fighting to use the bathroom <laughs> that's what's going on lately hopefully we get approved and i'm just really excited about it i really 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 hope we get approved like i love this building that we're gonna be living in if we get approved like oh my god today is march 24th and last night was a super fun night <laughs> one of my friends that used to be one of my co-workers came over and finally saw the apartment and we just hung out for a couple of hours, which was really nice because I haven't seen her in a really long time. And then right after that, we had a little like last minute managers meeting with all the other managers that I work with. And it was super fun because we just went out and got crepes. And then we went out and got menchies after that and talked about things coming up at our restaurant. And just, it was just really fun. <laughs> I'm just chilling and laying in bed and reading The Queen of Hearts, which is my current read. Keep my hands on myself. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, 
<laughs> yeah. Aw, yeah. Boomers, burgers, shakes, and waffle fries are the best. When you gotta pull out a waffle fry, you gotta show him. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> shitty one. <laughs> Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. So today is March 25th, and um, I just got the best news. Me and my sister got approved for the new apartment, and we're going to be moving in on May 8th. <laughs> and I'm like so overwhelmed and so excited right now. Oh my god. I've just had like, oh my god, it's been the longest day. I just got home from work, and I was planning on taking a nap right now because I have about an hour until I go to boxing tonight. And I was like, oh my god, I've just, I'm so tired, and I'm just gonna take a nap. And then I look at my phone, and I just got an email that said, congratulations, you're approved. And I was like, what the heck? Like, I was not expecting them to email us. I was expecting to get a phone call, so I was like, waiting on my phone, waiting on the phone call like all day for these last couple of days. I'm so freaking happy, like, we're literally moving in, like, a month and a half, like, this shit is actually gonna happen, like, oh my god. I just, I can't even deal, like, I'm so excited, like, guys, the new apartment is so nice. We've been in this apartment for about six months now, and it's just, I don't know, like, we, we're just wanting something different, you know, so, like, this is just such perfect timing. And I feel like this is the perfect amount of time for us to get approved because it's like, it still gives us like a month and a half notice that we're gonna be moving. Whereas last time it was kind of like only a couple weeks notice and that was very stressful. <laughs> but I am so happy and so like overwhelmed and excited and nervous and just like, oh my God, this is happening. Oh my God. But we actually got the unit that we wanted. We got unit 408. We're gonna be on the fourth floor. We're gonna have nice hardwood floors and like beautiful natural lighting. Like my videos are gonna be so much higher quality. And oh my God, we're in a better location. We're like closer to the city and like closer to where everything's at. Like, oh my God, I am just so fucking stoked. Can you tell how happy I am? I'm just, I'm so excited. It is the 26th. It's like Tuesday night and it has been one hell of a day. <laughs> this morning was just great because I got called into work unexpectedly and I had to be there for a while and then I totally spaced about something that I was supposed to do at work so I feel really terrible about that. I just went out to dinner to jalapenos with my mom which was really great because you know Mexican food. Just got home from a pretty long day and I got a package and I wasn't sure what it is so I figured Maybe I should open it on camera with you and find out together. Oh, this is Birthday by Meredith Russo. Oh. Yeah, so this is from Flatiron Books, and this comes out in May. And this is the author of that book I read. Oh, what was it called? I think it was called... Yeah, If I Was Your Girl. So it shows on the back. Yeah. And I believe this one features a trans character. Thank you, Flatiron Books. All right, it is still Tuesday night, and since I've had a pretty long day, I thought the only way to end this day is with a little bit of treat yourself. So um, I whipped out my gold bath bomb that I still haven't used yet, which I'm really excited to use. And see, it says like there's a little surprise inside, so I guess we'll have to like see what comes from that. But um, I also just downloaded the book My Lovely Wife that came out today. It's like this thriller that I've heard so many good things about. People are saying it's like the female Dexter and like I know Kayla over at Books and Lala, she really liked it. I think she gave it five stars so I am so excited to read it. Like I might just binge read the whole thing tonight maybe. I don't know. It'll probably be like reading tonight and tomorrow night but I'm gonna start it when I'm in the bath. Oh my gosh, look at all the glitter. It's getting on my fingers. Oh, but it's beautiful. Wow. I got this one at Target by the way. So let's see some magic, why don't we? Alright, let's go. Ooh. Ooh, it's fizzing. So, um, this is what was inside the bath bomb. Not totally sure what this is. Hello, so it's been a couple of hours since I last saw you. I did take my bath and I straightened my hair and I painted my nails. 
I really like this blue color that I painted them. I didn't want to do black again because I'm like, it's starting to get springtime. I need lighter colored nails. And I did start reading My Lovely Wife. And so far, I am really enjoying it. Tomorrow, I have to wake up kind of early because I was invited to this like company lunch thing that's happening at 11 a.m. And it's an hour away from where I live. So I have to be kind of up early and ready to do that tomorrow morning. But for now... I'm going to be reading My Lovely Wife until I fall asleep because it's so good and hopefully I can get deep enough into it that I can maybe finish it tomorrow. Good morning. It is Wednesday the 27th and I am on my way to go to a company lunch that's in a city that is an hour away. Now it's going to be quite a drive so I'm going to be listening to the Daisy Jones and the Six audiobook that I rented from my library. I'm currently on part three, I think out of nine. Yeah, I'm on three out of nine. And it's an hour drive here and back, so hopefully I can get some good chunk of this audiobook done today. So far, I'm liking it better than when I read the original book, but I'm still kind of like, not super, super in love with the story. So it's like, we'll see if my opinion on it changes. Um, I am enjoying it a little bit more. Like I'm enjoying Daisy's character a little bit more listening to it this way instead of when I read it. <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, that's the plan. So maybe I'll get some beautiful footage of when I'm driving because it's going to be a really beautiful drive. And then there they were, the twin girls, Susanna and Maria, just pushing their faces, heads full of hair. I could instantly tell them apart. I realized, looking at me, I realized that I'd never seen a new Alright, so I just got home from the company lunch. I just got back here and filmed my April TBR really fast because I wanted to get that out of the way. And now I'm going to get ready to go boxing. And look what came in the mail. Oh my gosh, you guys. The Jude and JP and Will- JB but Jude and JB and Willem and Malcolm. My shirt for a little life. Isn't it so cute? I just watched If Beale Street Could Talk with my sister. And I've been really wanting to see that movie ever since it got some nominations at the Oscars and it just looked like something I would enjoy and it's the same director as Moonlight and I'm happy to say I did really enjoy the movie. I loved the acting, I loved the directing, I loved the cinematography and the score. I just thought all of it was really well done and it was really beautiful and it had a really powerful message. After we finished watching the movie we watched the newest episode of This Is Us and Oh my god, that show freaking kills me like every time, I swear. I was able to get through almost all of the Daisy Jones and the Six audiobook. I'm on the second to last part. I'm actually really loving it now. Like, I didn't think I would really like it at first. Like, I don't know, it definitely took me a long time to get invested and to get used to the narration style and all that, but like, there have definitely been some moments in that book where I'm like, oh my god, like I'm just so captivated by what I'm listening to because I'm listening to the audiobook, obviously. But like there's been some moments where I'm just so captivated by what I'm listening to that I just like don't want to shut it off. <laughs> and, like I'll be like pulling up to where I'm supposed to be and I'll be like so disappointed that I have to shut off the audiobook because it's just so good. So like that's a really good sign to me. Like I think I really am enjoying it now and like... Now that I know there's only like a part and a half, like basically like an hour and a half or so left of the audiobook, I'm just like, oh my god, like, ugh. So I'm excited to finish it. I am thinking I'm going to give it a higher rating this time. Like, I don't think it's going to be quite a five star for me still. I think this one, like this time around, it's probably going to end up being like a four star read, but still, like I'm enjoying it a lot more than I did the first time I read it, so. My gosh, you guys, look what just came in the mail. My book of the month box. This is my favorite freaking time of the month. So Lost and Wanted is the first book that I chose. And then Beyond the Point by Claire Gibson, y'all. Gibson. If you didn't know, that's my last name. So that's pretty cool. And then Miracle Creek by Angie Kim. And this is the one I'm probably most likely to read this month. I'm just really, really excited about this one. Freaking Penguin Random House also just sent me four flipping books the first one is all that you leave behind which is so crazy because this one was also a book of the month pick this month this one is lost roses and this is the same author as lilac girls i can't remember if this one is a sequel to lilac girls or not but this one's like a historical fiction novel that i'm super excited about the next one is inspection by josh mallerman this is the author of bird box this is his newest thriller horror book 
I'm so excited to read this. I'm definitely reading this one in April. And then the last one they sent is The Spectators by Jennifer Du Bois. And yeah, I am just so, so excited about all of these books. Oh my god, Penguin Random House and Book of the Month are just my faves. It is the night of March 30th. Today is Saturday. And it has been a super productive day. <laughs> Last night, it was really fun because I went to this bar with my mom and my sister and one of my best friends, Winter, and her mom. And we got our moms to like finally meet and hang out because we thought that they would get along really well. <laughs> and they did. And it was a really fun night and we hung out until about midnight last night. And it was just a really great time getting them together and hanging out with friends. And then today, I filmed my wrap up for this month and my TBR for next month and then, I, and then I edited those during the day and then tonight I went to work and I just got home from work. I think I want to just set up my bullet journal thing for next month right now while I have time and they just recently uploaded Santa Clarita Diet season 3 onto Netflix which I've been highly highly anticipating because that show is one of my favorites and it's just so so great and ever since I finished reading the book My Lovely Wife like that book so reminded me of Santa Clarita Diet so it's been making me really want to watch it again Fuck me <laughs> Fucking love this show It is April 1st I just got off of work and I haven't been feeling the best these last two days or so like I've just been really crampy and like ugh. see this is exactly why I don't want to live on the first floor anymore because I'm trying to like film something in front of my window and then my neighbors like pull up like right in front of my window where I'm trying to film and then I'm awkward so I leave as I was saying um I am gonna go through all of my clothes and my books that I have and try to decide what I want to keep and what I don't want to keep anymore because I have an overwhelming amount of books and I might have to cut down to only two bookshelves in my new apartment because I don't know if the new apartment is going to have enough space for all three of my bookshelves so I might have to cut back a whole bookshelf and in the event that that happens I might have to unhaul a bookshelf's worth of books so like it's time to get real with myself and be like is this one of my favorite books of all time or do I have any purpose to keep this book am I ever gonna reread it you know and just like get rid of a ton of stuff which is gonna be really hard for me because I'm not a hoarder but I am a book hoarder that is the one thing that I hoard so my amazing friend Jacqueline just introduced me to this new app called Marco Polo and it's basically this like cute little FaceTime app where you can FaceTime like back and forth. Whoa, I just went in. It is such a cool app and this is the app that we're going to use to like talk back and forth about the book that we're going to buddy read tomorrow and I'm really excited about it and this is so cute and you can like go back and look through yeah, oh your gosh. like messages um, I... that you sent to each other and stuff. And it's just so cute and it's so cool and now I'm gonna try to convince my whole family to download this app because I think it's such a cool way to keep in touch with people but it doesn't have the awkwardness that like FaceTiming one-on-one -on -one has or like video chatting one-on-one -on -one. because like I always get really awkward when I video chat people like one-on-one -on -one and I feel so weird but like doing it this way you just feel like you're kind of talking to the camera while you're just talking to them and there's no awkward silences or anything so. i just finished my buddy read with jacqueline of a house at the bottom of the lake by josh mallerman <laughs> and um i'm like shook right now over that book like i don't really know how i feel at the moment like i just know that i really enjoyed it i really genuinely felt creeped out throughout most of the book which is good because it's a horror book and you should be feeling creeped out and i definitely was i was like what the heck like it was making me like get chills sometimes which is good um, i really really liked it but the ending i'm just like trying to like comprehend and think about the ending but oh my gosh like my brain right now is exploding i really do like books though that have like kind of ambiguous endings like that make you ask a lot of questions and like i really like books that make you discuss them afterwards so like I don't know it might be a five star read for me i just have to think about it a little bit more like it just depends and i think it depends i really on how love well, discussing um, books this way now so, like, yes inception is like is so one of my all-time favorite movies love it so much um oh my gosh so yeah what you said about shutter island i also 
really really love shutter island and that's also one of my favorite movies way to go out to dinner again with my mom <laughs> I think jalapenos is becoming our like regular Tuesday night thing because they have taco Tuesdays. It's really fucking cheap to go to jalapenos on a Tuesday night. So uh, I think it's becoming our normal thing and it's great. So <laughs> we're gonna have tacos. Yeah. That's a big ass margarita. Who is a pretty girl? <gasps> I'm back to watching Santa Clarita Diet. Also, I got my entire family now to download Marco Polo. It's raining. I freaking love the rain. I wish it would rain every day. Today is April 3rd, and um, today's been a very long day. Uh, <laughs> work was kind of a shit show today, and I had to stay an hour later than I expected to, which kind of sucked. But now we're going to Chipotle, question mark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chipotle or Five Guys, it just depends, you know, because Chipotle gives me anxiety when I'm in there because I used to work there, and it's weird. But yeah, so either Chipotle or Five Guys, I'm not sure yet, but I'm excited because I have the night off at least, and when we get back to the apartment, we're gonna watch the This Is Us season finale. Okay, we did it, we went to Chipotle. She got a quesadilla, barbacoa, it's super good. And I got steak tacos, because they're, they're, so, they're so amazing. <laughs> Look at how beautiful the fucking clouds are. Oh, oh my gosh. Favorite fucking song right now. So fucking good. I wish that we could talk about it. Don't think you can live without you being in your door screen. And you're the only way I have. Look at this. Look at this. Me and my sister just watched the This Is Us finale of the season. Um, oh my gosh, like <laughs> fucking bawled my eyes out as usual because that show is just so amazing. I jumped back into watching Queer Eye and I think I might have gotten my sister hooked on Queer Eye. <laughs> which is fucking awesome because like i just love that show so much like i'm a huge fan of like makeover shows like i don't know what it is but like i love seeing either people get like a makeover i think it's because like i really loved the princess diaries when i was a kid so i think that has something to do with why i love like makeover things so much but i love seeing people like get their hair done and like get their whole wardrobe changed and like house makeovers like home makeovers like changing up the room like i love it so it's like it has all of my favorite things like all of my favorite makeover things in one show so it's just freaking great and if you haven't watched queer eye like you need to watch queer eye like i love all five of them so much like all five of the guys that are on the show oh my god anthony is so beautiful i just love him so much and it, literally in the last episode i just watched he has another jb and jude and willem and malcolm shirt he has two there's he has a black one and he has a white one like what oh my god he's so adorable he probably really loves that book and like that makes my heart so happy because i love that book so much and i'm gonna go to bed now because i work in the morning and i work a double for the next three days I've got some mad heartburn from Chipotle because um, today was not a good decision making day because I had coffee this morning which is not good for my throat and then I had spicy steak tacos and like the spiciness is also not good for my throat and then I drank like a shit ton of soda so not good decisions today so now I have mad heartburn and I'm suffering for it so thank you earlier self for making bad decisions. I am technically working a double today but um work was like really really slow at like one o'clock and so they decided to send me on a three hour break <laughs> which was actually super nice because I've been so behind on YouTube videos like I 
I'm going to be working every morning for the next like week and I'm not going to get a morning off until Sunday next week. So I was like, oh my god, like when am I going to film like ever? So I filmed three videos in the last like two hours. So now I should be okay <laughs> for YouTube for at least the next week. Just so nice because I was like seriously concerned and it's like I do like filming some stuff in my room at night. Like the lighting in my room at night is okay, but it's just not what I'm used to. Like I really like filming with the natural lighting outside. Also, I wanted to say that the Joker trailer just came out the other day and like, oh my god, it looks so good and I just like I'm so curious to see it because I'm not like a huge fan of like Joaquin Phoenix, but like his portrayal of the Joker just in that trailer, like, oh my gosh, it looks so good. And I'm so curious to see this take on like a backstory for the Joker because like the Joker is one of my favorite fictional characters of all time. So I'm really excited to see an entire movie dedicated to his character and like his origin story kind of. I'm so excited and I'm so curious and I'm just like dead over that trailer. Just got home. It's Friday night still. It's been a really long day. <laughs> I'm gonna go get crepes with my faves. <laughs> I know, this thing looks loaded. I'm so happy about it. <laughs> what are you looking for? Oh my gosh, the dilation and dilation. Uh, okay, look, look out. Not far away. Oh yeah, no, look at my eyes are really hard. Nurse Winter. Here's another thing I'm not gonna miss about living on the first floor is my neighbors being really fucking loud in the parking lot and shining their fucking high beams like through my window. It's like really annoying. Today was a really stressful <laughs> and like not the best day at work. Not because of like work itself, but just because of unnecessary drama. <laughs> and I am not the kind of person that deals well with confrontation or with people talking about me behind my back and saying things that aren't true and so. Today was just kind of a ugh day because of all that, so I thought tonight I would jump back into reading something because I haven't been reading these last couple of days. Like, I haven't read anything since finishing A House at the Bottom of a Lake. I haven't been reading these last couple days because I've been working doubles every single day these last three days and because I've been so freaking tired, like so much more tired than I normally am because my insomnia has gotten really bad lately and I haven't been falling asleep until like almost three in the morning and then I wake up at like nine and I'm just like not getting enough sleep and so I haven't been able to like read because every time I read I like fall asleep. Tonight it's about 11 and I'm not too tired yet so I'm hoping I can jump back into Jane Doe. I'm about a hundred pages in. I've been reading this book like on and off now for like a couple of days since the beginning of the month so it is Sunday afternoon. I just got off of work. Today I only worked a half shift but these last three days I've worked double shifts and so I'm just feeling really tired and exhausted so I thought I would take a bath with one of my bath bombs and I got this face mask from Target that I haven't used yet. And so I'm thinking I'm just gonna have a full blown treat yourself afternoon and use the face mask and take a bath and read 
birthday because I've been really dying to read this book ever since I read the first chapter of it in my tri chapter. So I think that's the plans for tonight. Like, I don't really know. I don't have a lot going on. I'm still on call for work at the moment, but I uh, I just want to sit in the bathtub and read. So that's what I'm going to do. That's bomb. Let's do it. Oh, it's beautiful. This is so good already. I finished my bath. It was fucking lovely. And I'm like 120 pages into birthday. And I love it so much. Like, so, so, so much. And like, holy shit, this might be a five star book for me. Like, I can just feel it in my bones. So I'm hoping it continues to be amazing. I just want to cry like every freaking chapter. So like it follows like two people that were born on the same day. And it follows two boys, but one of the boys wants to be a girl. And it's just like so emotional and beautiful and like I need to go either make some dinner or get some dinner because it's like seven o'clock now and I'm starving. I went to Popeyes and um they just recently opened a Popeyes in the town I live in about probably like six months ago now and I went right when it opened and I didn't really like it so I never went back but I decided to give it a second chance and I mean it looks really good. Smells really good. Also, my new BFF Jacqueline recommended me the show Younger. I've never seen it before, so I'm gonna give it a go and watch the first episodes and see how I like it. It sounds like something I would like from what she was saying, but yeah, real excited. I'm gonna eat this and watch Younger. Like, oh gosh, I'm so. Look at how cute so my mom is raving over um, Colleen Hoover. She's reading but, all your perfects um, right now. It's a really good book. I love Colleen Hoover. I can't say how much enough. I love her writing. I love everything. <laughs> Kleenex. I'm telling you. Oh. Kleenex. She's so cute. Love you, honey. Sorry about my face. But I just finished reading Birthday and like, oh, it was so good. <laughs> I'm so like emotionally drained. I fucking cried like five times when I read this book, like, not even an exaggeration. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> like, the ending just made me, like, fucking sob. <laughs> it was so, so good. And, oh my god, I just did not expect to love this the way I did. Like, I'm completely taken off guard by this book. Like, holy crap. This is the first time in a long time that a young adult novel has had this kind of impact on me. Like, I just really, really loved it, so. <laughs> Uh, this show is my new obsession. Okay, they're gonna attempt the super. This <laughs> is gonna end bad. <laughs> Dude, your stomach after that cinnamon roll is gonna be fucked. <laughs> Rachel. <laughs> yeah, you extend your legs. Feel it at first. Feel it. Feel Do it after. slow. Feel out the weight first okay. before you just the long. Okay, ready? Go. Okay, but don't put my back. <laughs> It's going to be like, yeah. This is going to be on YouTube. <laughs> okay. So make it funny. Oh my god. Oh, yes. oh my god. There you go. Put your legs out. 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 You just went to Safeway like at late at night yes. to get like mozzarella sticks yes. and cinnamon rolls <laughs> and beef jerky. Go burn yourself. I don't understand. But uh, yeah, every time is. Today is April 10th. And I was gonna start the morning by like filming a booktube video. So I got like, I did my hair, like straightened my hair and I put on some makeup and I am like starving and we don't have like any food in our apartment right now. So I'm gonna hit up Starbucks. <laughs> yeah, today is my only actual day off this week. It's like pouring rain outside if you can't hear in the background, which is amazing. It hasn't rained like this in a while, so. I'm freaking stoked about it. Today's kind of a busy-ish day. I just have to film this one YouTube video that I've been really wanting to film. And then I'm probably going to edit that. And then I, I'm going boxing with Winter at 3.30. And then later tonight I'm going over to my parents for dinner. And my sister's bringing her boyfriend. <laughs> Bagel. Oh, my, 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 my
been really feeling a Taylor Swift cover lately, and I heard this song again, and I was like, yes. Also, um, really, 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 really love this song, and I put it the other day on my April music challenge, like, one of the days said a song that makes you sad, and I put this song, and, like, ever since, I've just been, like, really wanting to cover it, because I love singing the song, like, I'm always, like, singing this song, because it's so beautiful, so I thought I would sing it for you. <laughs> Lord, make me a rainbow, shine out on my mother, she I'm safe with you, and she sent it to my colors, oh. just wanted to update you it's been a couple of hours and I was gonna try jumping into one of these but I could not get into either one of them at the moment so I've been rereading Unteachable which is my reread that I picked for this month and I'm already a hundred pages in and I'm just loving it so much the way I did the first time <laughs> and I'm glad I picked this up because I was starting to feel a little bit slumpy and I was like fuck I'm getting ready to leave for my parents house wow. <laughs> Yeah. Fire. Oh, yeah. Her ears are so sharp. I know. Dude. It's like, we need to talk to her. So go. Her ears are the first Hi, thing. Hi, baby. Oh, cutie. Oh, bring it back. Bring it man. back. Phoenix, bring it back. Oh, Drop it. Oh. So what you do? <laughs> like, give her a oh. ball oh, and switch it, it, it. But I mean, have it in your hand. Oh, oh the ball. She just dropped it. Oh, she already dropped it. So then she's ready. Ready? Yeah. No, I'm just saying that <laughs> it, it inevitably, for whatever reason, goes there or under the bush. Good girl. Oh, baby. I'm a beautiful girl. Oh, yeah. I love this, Rose. Beanie's. Beanie, wanna? You gotta drop one to. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, seriously, like, <laughs> I'm sorry for my face, but um, today my mom finished reading the book All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover. This book kind of talks about, like, dealing with infertility in your marriage, and um, like, I think this book just especially hit close to home for my mom because she also struggled with infertility, and my parents were married for nine years before they had me. So after she finished reading it today, she gave me this letter that she wrote in the 90s when she was like really struggling with infertility and just was like sick of it and like wanting to give up. And I just wanted to say that my mom is like an incredibly strong person and she's just been through a lot of really hard things and she's just really inspirational to me and she's freaking amazing and beautiful and I just really love my mom. And to any women out there who have ever dealt with infertility, just know that you are all incredibly strong and I can't imagine going through something like that 
and just oh god this book oh my gosh I I remember like bawling my eyes out when I read this book so um I just knew that it was gonna like really mean a lot to my mom to like read this book because she just relates to it so much but oh my gosh I'm such a little bitch sorry anyways it's just such a beautiful story so Ugh. I recently got this Almond Joy creamer that one of my coworkers recommended to me because Almond Joy is my favorite candy of all time. And it is the actual best creamer like ever. And it's like the only one I want to drink lately. So yeah. It's about one o'clock right now. I realized that I was starving. So I got out of bed and just made some food. But I have been reading The Silent Patient by Alex. Michaelides, Michaelides, but I'm buddy reading this book with my friend Jacqueline. We're doing another buddy read. We we read A House at the Bottom of a Lake earlier this month, and we really loved buddy reading that book. So we decided to buddy read The Silent Patient because it was on both of our TBRs, and this is one that I've been hearing a lot of really great things about recently. And it's a thriller, and I'm 230 pages into it. I started it this morning, and I haven't been able to stop, and I only have a little bit less than 100 pages left. So I only got out of bed because I was absolutely starving. So I made me some bagels. <laughs> and I'm just gonna jump right back into this book because it's just so freaking good and I need to know where it's going. And it reminds me a lot of the TV show The Sinner with Jessica Biel. Really enjoying this. So I'll update you when I'm finished. Okay, um, it's about 2.15 and I just finished The Silent Patient and holy fuck. I think I'm gonna give this 5 out of 5 stars, like, I freaking loved it, and that fucking plot twist, holy shit, one of the best plot twists I think I've ever read, like, did not see it coming at all, this is amazing, new favorite thriller, oh my gosh, loved it. It is about 5pm right now, me and Jacqueline just finished our buddy read discussion about the silent patient, and we literally talked for 98 minutes. <laughs> we talked on Instagram, which was really cool. I didn't know Instagram has like an option to like talk like face to face, basically. It's like FaceTiming, but on Instagram. And it's really cool the way Instagram does it because it cuts your screen in half and then one of your videos is on top and one of your videos is on the bottom and it's like, you can just talk that way. So that was really fun. So we literally talked for like an hour and a half about the silent patient we talked about the silent patient for probably like 20 minutes and then we just like talked for like an hour and a half like i swear that girl is like my sister from another mister we just like have so much in common and she's just so sweet and i just like love her so much so that was really fun to do and now it's five o'clock already and i am starving just watched the entire show of special on netflix it's like this new show that just went up i think and it was only eight episodes and each episode was like 15 ish minutes so i kind of just like flew through it in like two hours and it was really cute and i feel like it's really good representation for people with cerebral palsy or just people who are disabled and it has a lot of like body positive messages and the main character is gay so there's LGBT representation and I just think it's an all-around really cute show but yeah oh my gosh so Reese Witherspoon just dropped the new Big Little Lies season 2 trailer on her Instagram right now and I'm like dying because like oh my god that's one of my favorite shows so excited also I never mentioned on this vlog but like a couple of days ago Taylor Swift had this like countdown on her Instagram that's counting down towards April 26th and like Oh my gosh, dude, I think Taylor Swift is gonna drop her next single on April 26th and I am like so fucking excited. Like she is my number one queen of life. It's so crazy too though because like that's the same exact day that the Avengers comes out and like we already have our tickets for Thursday night at 10.30. Her song is gonna drop Thursday night at like 9 o'clock so like the night of April 25th, I'm gonna be dead. Rip Gabby. It is the night of the 15th. It's actually kind of late. It's like 12.30 in the morning right now. Today was a very busy and productive and great day. 
and I went to work this morning, and then I went boxing with Winter this afternoon, and then me and my sister went and got Pizza Hut, which I haven't had in a long time, and it was super good. Then we tried to watch that Netflix show Black Summer, the new zombie show, and we watched the first episode, and I, like, could not get into it at all. It was just so melodramatic, and the acting was terrible, and I just, like, <laughs> couldn't get into it. So, instead, we decided to finally watch The Hate You Give, the movie adaptation. I gotta say, like, even though I didn't like it as much as I love the book, just because the book is just, like, <laughs> has such a special place in my heart, but, like, it was a really good movie adaptation. It brought me to tears a few times, and it was just really, really well done. And the acting was so good, and the music was so good, and the message was just so important, and... I'm just kind of bummed because these next two mornings, I have really early mornings. Um, tomorrow, well tomorrow's not too bad of an early morning, but I have to be out of the house by like 9.15 because I have to do like some office work tomorrow morning for the end of the pay period. And then the next morning is a meeting that's in Bellingham that I have to be at at 9.15, so I'm going to have to wake up at like at least 8.15 for that, so, oh, it's gonna suck. Yeah, also today, it was really exciting because me and Jacqueline have been planning to host a readathon this summer, and we've been kind of, like, finalizing all the, like, challenges that we want to do, and she, Jacqueline has been making these very, very beautiful graphics that I can't wait to, like, show you what she's created. She is so, so talented, and, um, I'm just really excited for this readathon to happen, like, can it be June, like, now? <laughs> like, I am just so, so excited, and we're probably going to be announcing the readathon in very early May. I hope a lot of you can participate, because it's going to be a great time. Good morning! Today is a very big day, and it is very early in the morning right now. Um, today is my mom's 60th birthday, and I also have a meeting that I have to go to this morning at 9.15, so it's like 8.40 right now, and I have to drive quite a bit of a way for this meeting, so <laughs> I'm in a hurry, but um, I'll update you later. Hello again. Meeting is done. Did you see my jacket, by the way? I ordered this new sweatshirt, like, impulsively off of Instagram the other day, and it finally came. Look how cute it is. Anyways meeting is done it was a lot of information and i'm kind of overwhelmed and oh my god i can already feel my like heartburn throat issues like starting up i'm hoping that that goes away soon <laughs> that's how i know that i'm like, kind of stressed out because my body like tells me <laughs> we're gonna go to this place called creativity that's like you get to make like paint things and like make things which i'm really excited about because i've never been and then we're going out to a really nice dinner in Semiyamu, just like on the beach. And then um, we're going to a bar, Downtime Taps, for the rest of the afternoon. And yeah, it's just gonna be a great time. Whoa, look at that outfit. Look at that hair. So cute. You look so much younger too with that haircut. Yeah, oh my gosh. What did you pick? A jar, Mason jar. A jar. This is the before shot. What did you pick? A little bike on a plate. I, love my bike. <laughs> I got this little mug here. Dude, this place is so cute. Check it out. And I want. So you got all of this on your sculptures. Okay. You got to take it off. Okay. Okay. Okay, y'all. Progress update. I got a blue ombre going on here. It was very difficult. <laughs> Mom has painted it teal five times. <laughs> and it's so thick. No bike yet, but we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. It's coming. It's coming. And Rachel is stenciling. Look at the finished product. It's so cute. Rachel did the font because I can't write like that. <laughs> Look at yours. Oh, you're just so good. Yeah, she's the artist. font. Like, what the heck? Looks so beautiful. Wow. I did a great stencil. Oh, so oh, cute. Cool. <laughs> That's so cute. I love, I love the it. color. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty when it comes out. When it's out of the kiln. I can't see you, but I <laughs> can see the view. 
this restaurant is amazing. Um, I can't really see you guys. Oh, there we go. I mean, yep. There's a freaking chessboard. Pick it up. Cute. Time for downtime tabs. Yes. the night of April 18th. I don't know if you can hear, but it's like pouring rain outside. Let me put you by the window. Can you hear it? Maybe, maybe not. Yesterday was a total blast because it was my mom's birthday and it was just a really great day and I loved spending time with her. Today, however, was not such a blast. <laughs> to start things off, yesterday my throat started acting up again and I don't know if you guys know but I have this thing called GERD which is basically kind of like really bad acid reflux and it only acts up a couple times a year but it really acts up when I'm like really stressed out and lately I've just been really stressed because we have this big move to the new apartment coming up and there's just been a lot going on at work lately and so yesterday after that meeting that I had at work like my throat just started hurting so bad and so I was in like a ton of pain last night and early this morning so that was very not lit very unfortunate fucking sucks like I hate when my throat hurts like so bad like it feels like there's just a ball of acid right here like ready to come up and I can't sleep and I can only like drink water and eat foods like breads that'll like soak it up like it's just it's awful this morning was it started to feel a little bit better this morning because I took my medicine for it then I finished reading the book normal people by Sally Rooney and I ended up giving it two stars like it was whatever it was very forgettable and I just didn't really love the characters and it's like very much like a slice of life story but there's no plot at all and like I just guess I guess those kind of books just don't really work for me because I'm like I need to be like wanting a reason to read it because like it's just so boring and then I had to work at a different restaurant tonight which it's like our company the company that I work for owns like six different restaurants so I'm the manager at my restaurant but they asked me tonight to work at another location instead of working at my restaurant and I was like sure whatever like they needed me so I went and I had to work tonight at a new restaurant with like a different crew of people and um I just felt like a newbie all over again and it just added to my like stress and anxiety that I've already been feeling which is not great so it also kind of contributed to my throat still hurting now because I was very stressed out because I'm like oh my gosh like I don't know where anything is like it's like the same idea obviously it's still familiar to me but it's also like I'm a fish out of water like I don't know where anything is and so that was very stressful hopefully tomorrow is a little bit better because today was like not the best day <laughs> it is the morning of april 20th it is saturday and i have to get ready for work because i work in less than an hour but i just wanted to update you that um i just hit 14,000 subscribers on my youtube channel which is like so fucking crazy and just so cool and it's just been going up so fast like i can't even deal with this like i just hit 10,000 subscribers in december and so i've been continually gaining a thousand subscribers per month which is just fucking mind-boggling like so crazy so if you're watching this and you're subscribed to me thank you so freaking much like thank you so 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 much for watching all my ridiculous videos and like hanging out with me all the time i just really appreciate you so much and i'm gonna cry thank you so much from the bottom of my heart like for real dude if you're subscribed to me and you watch my videos like thank you like that's so nice you know what kind of fucking sucks is um I have been editing this April vlogs video throughout the whole month because I like to stay on top of it because they are they do get pretty lengthy you know and I had 40 minutes of edited footage for this vlog already on my laptop and now my Sony Vegas like refuses to open the file like it only loads to 21% and then it gives up every single time and so I think I'm gonna have to re-edit this whole vlog isn't that the funnest thing you've ever heard so yeah that really fucking blows so i'm probably gonna have to do that either 
probably tomorrow night because I just filmed a YouTube video right now which I'm gonna have to edit tonight when I get home to post tomorrow for Easter morning and then uh, I'm probably just gonna have to edit these vlogs all tomorrow night so then I can get them ready to post on Monday or Tuesday maybe I don't know tomorrow is when my parents leave for Las Vegas and New Orleans and they're gonna be gone for like 10 days and I'm like super stressed because I'm gonna have to stay at the house and take care of Phoenix for like all 10 of those days and we're gonna be moving on May 8th so there's just a lot of like things gonna be happening in this next two weeks which is probably why my throat's been acting up because I'm just like stressed and like oh my gosh like not having my parents here for 10 days is gonna suck so yeah my dad is amazing oh my gosh where are you going Vegas, baby. <laughs> They're going to Vegas, Vegas. without me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then New Orleans. Then New Orleans. New Orleans. Without me. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> that made sure. Oh, you. Later. <laughs> Bye. Hello. It is Easter. <laughs> oh, I missed having her in vlogs. So it is Easter. It is Sunday. Yesterday did not go as planned at all. We were so freaking busy yesterday at work like it was the busiest day we've had this year and we didn't leave work until an hour and a half after we normally do but today is easter my parents just left to go to vegas and new orleans they're gone for the next 10 days and so me and rachel are responsible for watching phoenix and watching the house so me and phoenix are gonna be real snuggly huh? um i'm really excited because later tonight we're gonna make some crepes and we're gonna have some friends over to watch the rest of Breaking Bad because my sister's boyfriend is like almost done with Breaking Bad. He has like eight episodes left. So we're gonna watch the last eight episodes like all together with one of our other friends, Austin, who also loves Breaking Bad. And um, then we're gonna make crepes and it's gonna be lit and it's just gonna be a really fun time. I'm not really religious, so like I don't really celebrate Easter anymore. So um, it's nice to get to like hang out with friends on our day off, you know? <laughs> It's raining today. You can't really see it, of course, on my camera, but it is raining. Yum! Hello. Um, it is the morning of the 22nd. This vlog is like almost an hour long, so I think I need to end it like here now. <laughs> and uh, this will by far be the longest vlog yet, I'm pretty sure, so sorry in advance. Um, this morning I've been super productive though. I like did all the dishes from last night. And I did laundry and cleaned the house. I restarted my computer this morning. <laughs> I restarted my computer this morning. And I my vlog footage was saved. Which was good. And we got really good news this morning. My coworkers that were going to rent out our apartment after us got approved. And we're going to be getting our deposit back. Which is like, what? So exciting. So exciting, huh, Fanny? But last night was really fun. We had my sister, my sister's boyfriend, and Austin come over and we finished the entire series of Breaking Bad and it was my sister's boyfriend's first time watching the series. All the rest of us have already watched it and loved it, but um, it was his first time watching the series and he was fucking shook and we were all crying and it was amazing. And then we made some crepes and it was really great. I probably should have taken some footage of that, but I like wasn't even thinking. I just love Breaking Bad so much. Like it is just so good. Like the best fucking shit I've ever seen on TV in my life. Like I just love it so much. So that's why it's my favorite show of all time. And that was probably like me and my sister's like fourth or fifth time watching the series all the way through like we try to watch it like once a year like it's just so good that is all for this month <laughs> thank you so much for watching these vlogs as usual yeah i will see you guys in my next vlog the next vlog should be pretty fucking crazy because it's gonna involve the move to the new apartment and just a whole lot of crazy things so yeah see you guys next time thank you so much for watching this really long vlog i love you i appreciate you